Educating Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Yeah, on October the first, Friday, last day of the week, but first day of the month, and the first day of the trading month, and we've got that candle Dow monthly chart peak D. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit careful. We're looking at the arch formation in the weekly chart, looking at the uh, dreaded H pattern in the daily chart, and so far. That left side low of 33,613 has been held in the daily chart of the Dow cash. But look at the YM. YM went under it. YM went down today to 33,838. Uh, no, 33,383. And the low that was made on the 20th was 33,478. So almost 100 points, 90-something points down. And now it's trying to rally in the arch formation. Uh, the MACD has deflected low. Histograms, not that good. And the stochastic's only at 43%, uh, not very good. On balance runs attempting to rally. So there should be some kind of a bounce attempt right here. I'm just putting in this rectangle in the, there we go, in the weekly chart. And here as well, we've got a peak D in the monthly, in the futures. I like to see everything um, in unison. And what we are looking at here is within the context, let me go back to the cash down, within the context of the cash down trading, look at that ugly candle from yesterday. Normally, this is the day that you would see a follow through to the downside to either test or take out the left side low. There's just enough evidence to say there are there is some buying coming in and that somehow or other the oversold condition should be worked off a little bit here. Maybe, uh, you know, he's still got a lot of news with the bulls, pending bills coming up. Ha, huh, there's just so much going on. But at the same time, on a very short term basis, I wouldn't be surprised if we do have a bit of a bounce. Um, something for, for subscribers that we, we try, we're contemplating here. What we are looking at is in the S&P, Slightly different chart formation. The S&P went closer, and then this morning the low was 4304. Uh, let's see, 4304.30, and the low of um, Monday a week ago was 4305.91. So that, to this moment, says, hey, so far at least an attempt to break the left side low hasn't done it yet, and that just... <laughs> The day is young. We're looking at a daily chart that just says, good, uh, maybe there can be a bit of a bounce from here. And that weekly chart says, oh, what an ugly candle from last week. As I say, the day is young. We have to wait for Friday at 4 o'clock before we close. But yes, there's a really good chance that at the end of the when I do my overview, my, my video overview for subscribers to an opening call tomorrow, I'm probably going to be putting a down arrow here for the weekly chart to say we've got at least a sell signal. The nine period moving average is still very sharply above the 14. So it's going to take a lot. It's probably going to take a move of this long term trend line right here. Uh, let's take it over there. The long term parallel trend line, which we're touching right now to actually crack and go into the 4277 area or lower. And then we'll have a break of that. And it's a, a leg B. It won't be a peak B. Until the whole of August, see, whole of October sees no new high above 45, 45.85. I suspect there's a good chance that that's what we're going to see. We're going to see a choppy sideways move, bounces to the upside, slightly, uh, uh, well, pull, uh, slightly, um, very quick pullbacks that start to make slightly lower lows. We'll see if that's the, the, the pattern that we're looking at. Look at the QQQ. Nothing yet. Down at dollar seventy-five at three fifty-six point seventeen, a little bit off the no, no, just a little bit off the low of three fifty-five ninety-one. This is really very poor action. Stochastics at six point nine nine percent. Whoops, as I'm talking, went to seven percent. That's very low, but that's this is where bounces can take can unfold. But in this particular instance, with the MACD negative, stochastic very negative, the nine period sharply below the fourteen period. To see the Let's just do this right now. Amazon, what is that doing today? Is it bouncing at all? 
Nope, it's weak. It's down six and nearly at a low. It's right on the 200 period exponential moving. Apple, is this bouncing at all? Nope, it's down dollar twenty-five at one forty point twenty-four, making a new unrecovery low. What do we call it? A recovery low. This is a well, a multi-week low. The uh, let's go to Netflix. This is the Fang stocks. Uh, we've got Netflix down after an all-time high yesterday, and now it's down 12. So it's near the all-time high, so that's fine. Uh, Facebook. Facebook is looking very, very poor. It's making uh, lower lows, and it's trading up to today, 341.50. But wow, that is a PE sell mode in the uh, weekly chart. Mm. Leg E in the monthly, so we'll to just say that Facebook is going to struggle for a little while longer. And now let's go to. I want you to show you the transports. Look at this. The transports having a nice move up 330 today at 246.48. Look at Jets. This is the uh, airline index, and it's trying to get to a leg D above the 25. What it was 2498 high of the 27th of September. It's at 24.54, it's up 91. So this is just saying, you know what? In the overall spectrum of the, of the eco economy, the travel area is starting to show a little bit of life. And that's the Jets, US Global Jets ETF. Let's go on, we want to look at gold. Uh, gold right now is straight, oh, I didn't look at the IWM, Ruble is up 2.6. Not bad action off the low it was made in the continuous contract of 17.21.1 uh, 17, on the 21st. How can that be the 21st? On the 29th. And here we are two days later. It's trying, if, it, if, it, if gold pops and actually works its way higher in a continuous up move, I don't want to see a pop and a drop. I want to see a pop above yesterday's high of 1765 and then a concerted effort to push into this candle right here the candle of the 23rd of september with high of 1777 well you would think 18 points in gold if it's making a turn should not be a difficult thing i uh, will see and on this in this particular instance the arch formation within the chapman falling axe reversal in the, in the gold says the whole area of 1780 to 1788 with the 9 and 14 period moving areas, averages in the weekly, that's going to be the big challenge. Can it, will it be repelled at that point as the dollar, the dollar which is pulling back 21 ticks right now, 94.04, have you made a new recovery high of 94.50, I think? Yep, 94.50 yesterday, dollar index, we are along the dollar index. Um, is this going to be something that goes sideways and then makes higher highs? Leg E in the weekly, a new leg B in the monthly chart. Uh, you know, dollars acting very well. If you look at the euro, EUR, USD, the euro dollar currency pair, uh, it's really struggling to come off the low. What I said yesterday is this down channel, this chapter wave inside track propellant zone. We're in it right now, the weekly chart. So this is the opportunity for it to, to rally. I don't think there's more than a bounce and then a retest of the uh, 1.155 area. We'll see what happens. Look at the UST JPY end of the month for the uh, end of the week, beginning of a new month. So we've got a, a peak E, probably a peak E right now in the daily, a leg E, up oh, a new leg E in the uh, weekly chart, and a leg C in the monthly. So the UST JPY, the yen, is actually rallying. Uh, quite nicely. At this point, it's down, but overall, it's, it's been improving in the rectangle formation. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. See you soon. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so we just had a, 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 a just simultaneously, we've got a question. One says, uh, S&PX, uh, that's the S&P annual chart, you're looking for repeat of 2018 for 2022 or another two up years to be followed. I can't get the full sentence, let me see, followed by what? Followed by a year like 2000. So in a sense, yes. And then another question, much shorter term is, uh, statement for, Basil, can you look at the daily on the ES uh, last year, September 2020, we had a lightning bolt pattern, uh, the expanded down to, that expanded down to only a 0.78 low, then, lo uh, then big turn up, we just did the same here last night, I'm looking long here. So, okay, a couple of things we need to look at. Uh, let me just do this quickly. I didn't finish silver. Silver is trading up. This is actually a much nicer candle in than the gold because, look, it's gone. It's filled in the red candle of what is today? Of Wednesday. Big red candle. So it's filled that in, almost filled it in. So this is a little bit looking. It's funny how <laughs> we can alternate between gold looking better than silver, silver looking better than gold. But basically, the trend is the most important thing. And both of them in downtrends at the moment. Uh, let's just go to uh, high grade copper. I'm going to come back to that question. I haven't finished that. High grade copper, nice bounce of the 200 period moving average. 4.184 up 0.09 and then you've got I uh, missed the IWM the IWM right now is trading a uh, down 51 at 218.19 so I just want to show something that's really interesting uh, we, we are we are still short the um, Nasdaq and uh, the instrument that we have is up two and a half percent today uh, this is just so interesting uh, we did take a long position one of the indices just to see if there could be a, a counter trend bounce and then we probably will want to go back to short uh, we'll see what happens there so that's there now i also want to look at the just bonds at the moment u.s bonds uh, maybe let me go to the tlt because that's no tail a little bit clearer tlt is rallying at 45 cents at 144.77 so put that together with the tnx dot x which is the 10 year and you'll see the 10 why is it uh, doing that? Okay, so the 10-year, there it is, is showing you that it's made a potential peak E. It's pulling back. It's in the upper range. There is a trend line that it took out in the weekly chart. This one's a little bit more tenuous uh, because I've only got two two points ready. 
uh, for it to, to be a trend line. My, my preference is usually to go to it on the, either the wick, the outer wick, or bodies if I need to, if I get more of them. In this case, it did pop very nicely above it. But right now, it's closing a tad, oh, not closing, it's a weekly chart. It's a tad underneath. And that says to me, just be a little bit careful here. Now, what we're looking at is um, this the 10 year monthly chart says that it's kind of trapped. And it's trapped between the yield of uh, 1765, that's 1.765, and the low that that was the high of March of 2021, this month, this year, and then 1128, 1129, 1128, that was 1.128, is July of this year, and it's kind of in the middle of the range at 1.4886. I suspect that what we're looking at is just for the moment, it's kind of stuck in the range. What will happen is if yields start, the 10 years especially, starts to not just get into, but actually starts to trade at 1.57, 15 point 57, that's going to be a big deal, a really big deal to the general markets. Okay, got that out the way. Did that, 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 that. Okay, now I'm going to go back to what I was talking about yesterday. I said we will continue today with my analysis of the S&P. I didn't really give you any result because I wanted to see how we closed yesterday and how we closed today at the start of October. Now look what's happened. The S&P has gone below the 4305.91 low that was made on September uh, on September the 20th before the big rally. Is that September? Yep, September the 20th. So it just time seems to fly. And it ran up to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, and it's come back down in the arch formation. It's in leg C. So far, any sign, now this is all political. At this particular point, it's technical and political, obviously, because we're waiting for some kind of uh, resolution, some kind of uh, vote, and that vote's going to be uh, going on for a little while now. And what we are looking at is, if that's the case, the monthly chart of the uh, S&P, the weekly chart, at this particular point has gone below a trend line, a very important trend line. The back these weeks, the casting has now gone under 80%. This is the, the weekly chart at 71%. The nine period moving average is turning down, but it's still above at three, at four, four, ten. It is above the black 14 period moving average of 4386 double check here yeah 4310 is above 4386 and to see it actually plummet and go negative you'd probably have to see the s p down to the 40 oh 4220 area for this to really take on heat 430 i'd say for below 430 is in that area that is hard to say because you don't now you don't know the speed of it, that nine period moving average going negative. Now on a monthly basis, uh, the question came up and what 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 was the difference? Is there a difference between now and 2008? Is there a 2007, 2008 into 2009 with the financial crisis? Yes, there is a crisis of sorts, but it isn't the same thing at all. It's very different. And we have to deal with it in a very different way. And one of the things I'm looking at here is when we made that top, remember I discussed this yesterday, I'll do it again. When we made the top at a peak D at two, Chapman Wave 2 bar reversal on the week of the 20th of July at 1555.90, and then pulled back down below the Chapman Wave kind of conventional flat base restart uh, to the peak D trough, of 1377.80, we actually went underneath it. We went to 1370.60, ran up in a peak A, peak B, gray A and gray B, peak B, before it picked up the previous high and made that a peak E with a doji candle all time high at that point in October, the 12th, week of the 12th of 07. And then you can see the MACD was much weaker. The stochastic ran up over 80% and then turned down sharply. And that's always a clue that you've got to be really careful. That's that te technique that I call the double camel hump. We've got that in the MACD. Anyway, what we are looking at is, is there a similarity now in the technicals? And that's what I was trying to deal with yesterday. And my answer to that immediately is the technicals are different. 
The result might be the same, but the technicals are different. And you can see this trend line. Now, what I like to do is to start off with parallel trend lines and then see if they match to specific low points. So far, they don't really match. If I did one that matched, um, well, I've done one that matched, and now we're under it, but that's just a transitory thing. And at this particular point, all I can say is there's really good evidence to say that this is a, a, a digestive phase. It's, it's probably going to be one of the deeper ones we've had in longer in time and a little deeper in price. And that the levels that we need to monitor, as soon as we return, we'll talk about the levels to monitor. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour, Dow's down one, SP's down 13. We're coming right back and trying to finish this up. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Just uh, to show you, this is the uh, two-minute E-mini chart. S&P made a peak D right there at about 8.30. It pulls back, makes a cup formation, goes to peak F. And then what does it do? It turns around and it comes back and you can see it's still pink, still saying, uh, 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 be careful. You'd have to see it's at 4284. Uh, some people have said, is there a chance of a bounce today? Yeah, I think there's a chance of at least an oversold bounce, just a pure technical oversold bounce. But we had that opportunity. There was a huge move. If you go from the low of 4260, uh, this is 4260 
to 43.21, the low this morning, early this morning, that's 60 points. It's, it's like 600 Dow points. That's a, that's huge. So now we're giving back some of that. So what you want to see, if you're feeling just even counter-trend bullish, you want to see the E-mini, which is a little bit weaker, quite a bit weaker than the, the Dow itself. But you want to see the E-mini start to trade and hold the 43.10. That's 20, 21 points from here. Um, that's a big deal. So if it doesn't do that and it starts to trade under 42.68, uh, even for a, a 10 minutes on the two-minute uh, chart, that's going to be – that just says, uh-oh, nothing, nothing to see here yet. All right, let's get back to our story. So the S&P weekly – now, I like to go step by step. If you had to say to me, uh, just on a purely visual basis, where do you think the, the – um, S&P is going to go. I suspect that over a two to three week period, we will see uh, this low right here. Uh, that's 41.73. That's 100 points. It's almost 1,000 points in the Dow. There's a chance that that's going to be tested. The only way it won't be tested if there's just something that triggers not just a big spike a single day or a single three hour spike to the upside, two days of closes above the high and of course we're looking at a weekly chart so the weekly high is this week's high of 45 7 44 57.30 so 4457.30 i would say a close of on the weekly chart any close in the 4463 area over the next two to three weeks i would say that raises the base and shortens the time span uh, that's the way I'm looking at it. But I do anticipate that the patterns that we've seen so often, in this particular case, I'm looking at the chance of an arch formation. Right? It's hard to draw it in because I have to cover the bars. And also just to show you that it's an arch, it tends to uh, expand over a number of bars. And I don't know if we're going to have that. But I would just say to you that any rally, there's a chance that you're going to get the arch formation and then a retest. So this is really important. And, and like in the den, any any squeeze into the close, uh, I'm using the Dow just for the moment. If the Dow goes 150 or more points after 2 p.m., uh, that's just going to be a really big negative uh, for the general market. And that will take the um, S&P probably down about minus 28 to minus 30. That's just, That would be just terrible action. And to go to into the weekend like that, with nothing resolved uh, politically, and I don't know how it's going to get resolved politically this quickly. This is just saying, be careful. We're in, a, we're in probably in a sell mode in the weekly chart. We're probably going to sell signal as I'm speaking, and it's going to be updated to sell mode later today. We don't know. This is just in the Chapman methodology. Um, just be real careful. Counter trend rallies. Yep, you can try to play a counter trend rally. Have a tight stop and just have it as a minor part of your portfolio because we've raised a lot of cash. We have uh, very few positions, long positions. We're just getting ready. In fact, now I've decided I will have a webinar coming out fairly soon, and I'm going to make it so that it will be what to look for, what to buy, what's going to happen for the for, for the, the, not the next part of the year. We don't really know, but what can happen over the next uh, at least six weeks to maybe even eight weeks. And that's going to be really important. So um, you, you've got a lot of choices. If you're interested in say, any of those really big cap, um, the mega big caps, fang type stocks, you'll have choices at this particular case, uh, instance. They just, especially with rates higher, they're just being hammered every single day. So it's kind of the Dow type thing that I'm looking at now to give stability. So I did mention that the IYT was trying to rally here. It's up $1.63. It's given back some of the gains. Uh, but I I don't see the, the transports just yet having a really strong move. You know, you've got, you, let me see DSX. A question came in, kind of look at DSX. Oh, look at this. This is Diana Shipping. Bulk Shippers, nice move up today, up 26 cents at 597, up 4.46%. Filled in the gap. I love when stocks fill in the gap and then continue past that gap towards the most recent high. In this case, it was a recovery high of 6.36. We do not have it. We've had it before. Diana Shipping. A uh, question I had was, Gans Master Cycle was the 20-year, Pat says, 
uh, Jupiter, Saturn cycle in 2001. The top in the S&P was uh, on the 3rd of September and not 9-11. This year, the top was 9-3. Interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of similarities going on right now. This is just a different market. We've had the COVID. COVID, the, the whole COVID and then the aspect of the variants, the Delta variant, this is changing things completely. And what is this? what this has done has delayed in my mega bull market move, the IAI, this is the, uh, we're still long from the uh, 34s, has went to 111 back in August and, and then dropped to the 102 level, spiked to 109, now it's at 104. I su suspect this is the clue. Watch the iShares Broker, Dealer and Security ETF. And that's only in the, at a peak B. And that says to me that the, they're in the Shapway methodology, we should still go to a C and a D. So that doesn't tell you how deeply you can pull back here. These are all separate things. Peak E in the weekly chart, sell mode. Um, this says the broker dealer index is giving us a clue that this is a big digestive phase and that when this makes a low, significant low, and it usually coincides with the market. Uh, what does that say? Oh, okay, yeah, got that. Um, uh, what we're looking at is however deep, unless it, it drops from the 104 level to some kind of a, just an absolute smackdown, and you start to see it trade for a month in the 83 to 79 area, then I'll have to say, gee, you know, I'm going to have to reassess this, but I still suspect we will go to a leg C and a leg D. But everything is suggesting that there is an appetite out there. If we go to Hood, this is Hood. This is the uh, Robin Hood trading 41.33. I suspect this will be in play. And that is a huge digestive phase in Robin Hood while they have to figure out how they're going to survive, how they're going to, everything's going to work out for them. I suspect this will be one of our clues that it will at some point take out the all time high, round number 85, back in the week of August the 6th. And that will be taken out. But you're going to have a lot of pace drop by almost 50%. You have to watch 41. You're going to have to watch this closely. This is the kind of clue you want to see. Uh, all right, let's go to Moz in United Kingdom. Moz, how are you? I'm very well, Boston. How are you? I'm very good. Excellent, good. excellent. Um, I wanted to ask you about DSX, uh, the Diana, Diana, Diana Shipping. Yes. Uh, but you have already taken a look at it, so uh, I think uh, we'll take um, we'll take a look at some other uh, stocks, or maybe some energy stocks. Okay, so hold on a second. We'll be back with Moza out there sure. in the United Kingdom in a moment. We w we have looked at Diana Shipping. Actually, I haven't finished with Diana Shipping. We'll be back in a moment. Dow's down one, S and P's down fourteen. Basil Chapman. And we've got our guests from the United Kingdom. We'll be right Are back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, folks, we're back. Basil Chapman Dow struggling to try to go positive. SP's down 14. We're looking at, we're talking about Mars and uh, United Kingdom. Mars, let me just finish the, with the uh, DSX to say the rectangle formation that you know I love to look at with a high of 636 and a low in the 490 area. I like to draw the rectangle and then say, all right, now we can have a lopsided cup formation and it's trading at 592. My guess is it's going to have an attempt over the next, uh, maybe into next week, as long as it can hold 550, as long as it holds the 552 to 548 support, I think it's going to try for the 636 area. And that's going to be really important because it really improves the, the weekly chart. Um, so that's, that's what I'd be looking at. So yet another question. Um, yeah, actually. So basically, um, I had a target of uh, 636, 637 in that region. Um, yes. And I took profits on my shorter term trading positions, but I still have a, a longer term one, which I am long from around 480 area. Um, but fundamentally, what I'm also hearing is that um, some of the uh, sea freight pressure from China, especially, uh, you know, that route uh, is easing a little bit. Uh, so maybe after Chinese New Year next year, um, there is there could be a significant reduction in the sea freight. So uh, I might so, actually consider if it goes up to around that region, uh, and if it doesn't make a new high, um, I might actually be out of the position. So I'm just watching that for now. Yes, I, I would too. What I would do is if I, I agree with it, obviously we've spoken about it for so long, at this particular point you can expect that uh, – Absolutely. There, there are more containers that are being built. Everybody's going to go into this. So there's probably going to be a glut at some point. I would do this. If you can see a Diana, Diana shipping close above 636, uh, the moment it breaks into 637, I would raise my stop on the core position. But what I would do, if you have a, a, a trading position at 637, if it's able to close above 637, for two out of three sessions, that's a good sign because I, you know, talking about the the more intermediate term, it takes a long time for everything, the whole process to to unfold. This is still in a strong move to the upside, but if the nine period moving average continues uh, to be uh, the key here, being stronger over the 14, if the MACD, which is still negative, actually crosses positive, that's going to give you the kicker to finally get to the 640 area. So I would just say to you, treat it as a price. In the back of your mind, you can have all the information about what's happening in the containers and everything. Just treat it as price and go with the price because if it starts to close in the 640s on a shorter term basis, my suspicion is I'm gonna have to call that in the weekly chart, probably not leg F, but a new leg C. And if all the technicals are still good in the weekly chart, that's still strong. So don't try to try to separate the fundamentals that you're very much aware of 
and the technicals. So if it starts to fail right now, you just treat it as if, okay, it's struggling in the rectangle formation. If it actually starts to move much nicer, this is DSX shipping, folks, trading up 17 cents at 589 right now. Um, I would just go with the price and let's see what happens because the MACD hasn't yet crossed positive. And if it does, it usually gives a little bit of an extra kicker for the upside. I hope that helps you. Yeah, that's perfect. That's excellent. Um, if you might have time, we can have a look at uh, an energy stock, uh, Royal Dutch Shell. Uh, that's RD. RD? RDS dot B. Oh, or, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I can get that. I know that uh, Royal Dutch. Uh, I know it's been mentioned. It's also traded as an ADR. So RDS dot B uh, should be the one on New York Stock Exchange. Okay. I think I've got, yep, I've got that. Very good. So this is, folks, this is Royal Dutch Shell PLC ADS. Uh, this is Class B shares. Just made a new recovery high uh, today at 44.98. Straightening off that high a little bit. It's up 0.08 at 44.35. Now, I think this looks very much like all the others that I've notated. So this has got a peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, peak E, F, unless, so A... B, C, D, unless this is an instant restart. So this looks so much like so many of the oils that I've been looking at. They had the big breakout. I cannot uh, ignore that kind of breakout. And I suspect, let me just do this now. I'll do this live. So this is peak A. This is peak B. Clear peak C. There's your peak D. I got the upside down with a very quick Two, one bar rests and the next bar in, and moves to a new recovery high. And this is, I'm just treated as an E and an F for now. But this is what I wanted to say. Normally what I would do is I'd have an alternate count B and then I'd do the analysis and say, okay, if we're looking at the on-balance volume, that's become overbought. And that just says on a short-term basis, there could be a bit of a pullback. If I'm looking at the stochastic at 89% and flat, that's a big positive. If I'm looking at the MACD very strong, that's another big positive. If I'm looking at the 9 above the 14, that is a really big positive. And this looks almost like the dollar. Let me just show you the dollar right now. See, the dollar's also done the same sort of thing, having a peak E at, at, at a rest point with a very strong series of technicals. And if I look at uh, ExxonMobil, whoops, ExxonMobil, XOM, ExxonMobil, same thing. Why my daily chart sluggish here? Let me give me a second. Or oh, okay, there it is. Uh, that's trading at up 72 cents, made a peak E, and is is digesting the gains. If I look at CVX, they're all doing the same thing. CVX peak A, uh, A. Then underneath it, it goes peak. Oh, this is technical Friday, so I'm just going to show something very interesting. So in Chevron, which has had a low on the 19th of August of 92.86 it has a nice leg up to the 200 period moving average at a peak A on the 27th of August. Then it pulls back and underneath it, it has another little bounce and that becomes another great peak A. Pulls back just a day and then makes a slightly higher high with the peak B. Remember, once you've got your starting point, in this case, it's that starting point way back on the, what did I say, 20th of August. That's your starting point, and every peak after that you must count. So this becomes gray peak A, gray peak B. So the, the, you've got 98.43, then a rest, and then a 98.47. That's B, and then a pullback, and then a slightly higher high of 90 right here. And that gets counted as well. And that is on 98.74 on the 14th. And then it pulls back, but still holds the basic low that we started off back, back on the uh, 19th of August at 92.86. And it pulls back on the 20th to 93.31, a higher low. So that means I'll continue the wave count in the Chapman wave. This is a great lesson today. I wanted to do this a couple of days ago. This is fantastic that you called in. I hope you're able to see it. So I've got a peak D in Chevron, CVX, uh, four days ago at nine at 104.89. And now it's pulled back. So 
if I go back, oh, am I going to remember what we just did? We did the, uh, let me see if I can get that. Uh, there it is. RDX.B. There we go. RDS.B. So you can see how I'm doing the note. Hey, can you hold on? I, I am here. Okay. We're on with Boz in United Kingdom. Dow's up 18. SP's down 8. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So this is the, the Balls and Basil hour that we're doing here. So, uh, Balls, I wanted to show you Diamondback Energy. I had a question with Dan. Can I look at it? And this is the same pattern. There's the instant restart, and it's just made a higher high. Hasn't gone to the high back in the second week of the 2nd of July of 102, 53 slumps down to the 65 area back in August, and boom, it's back up again. So they all have the same pattern, and I suspect that crude oil at this particular point is still in play for many reasons, but it's in play, and that there should be higher highs to come to get to the 8385 level i suspect we might have to have a consolidation first so i'm i'm thinking that we're going to be watching to see if there's some kind of consolidation in the shorter term in these oil and oil related stocks and then we go higher and that's kind of kind of match with the s p and many other things Collis consolidation going on right now and i hope in a way that i've answered uh, a number of your questions i just wanted for one second to go back to the R and to the Royal Dutch, there it is. And just to say, the support right now is very strong between, it's at 44.42, between 
43.80 and 41.50. That's kind of the support area. Not a big deal after such a strong move up. And that weekly chart, I have to take the low that was made back in uh, late July, early August. Uh, and this is leg A, whoops, 30, uh, 82, 82. Yeah, this is A, this is leg B. So it's a brand new leg B and it's a leg C in the monthly chart. So these are, are they are they are working just ready for a bit of a digestive phase. Hope that helps you. That's great. Thank you very much, Basil. Have a great day. And you too. Thank you so much for calling. Have a great weekend. So, folks, let me do this real quickly. We'll use the S and I'll use the Dow for the moment. We've got great programming coming up. Don't forget Monday, new format. Uh, Larry comes after my show. And Think or Swim goes after that. In fact, Kevin is the, the host of the show coming up at 11. It's going to be a fantastic show. Have a wonderful weekend. We want to see this afternoon. I'd like to see the, the Dow actually make a move to 130 plus and hold the off to the cross. Just as a counter trend.